Diego Gardiol says smoking marijuana in public has been legal in his country for as long as he can remember. Here the wood is legal. But buying the drug is illegal. Soon this won't be the case. If you want to smoke, it's your decision, you know, it's your choice. Uruguay's Senate is expected to legalize the production and sale of marijuana. Activists who campaigned for 10 years to change the law say it's a huge step in the right direction. And now they want other drugs to be decriminalized. It's all bad things should be regulated, tobacco, alcohol, uh, fire, weapons and uh, marijuana. Cocaine should be regulated so that consumers know if they are buying bad quality drugs that put them at risk. That way they can get it in a safe place. Uruguay's president, the main backer of the marijuana bill, says his goal is to take the lucrative drug market away from traffickers. The government will give licenses to grow marijuana and will sell it in pharmacies. The president says that means buyers won't have to deal with criminal networks. It's a controversial proposal. The government's message is drugs are here to stay and we must learn to live with them. But we do not understand why we have to accept a life with drugs. Congresswoman Veronica Alonso says the demand for drugs should be reduced, dismissing the government's approach as damage control. Uruguay is a small South American country with a big drug problem. Consumption of hard drugs like crack cocaine is on the rise, and nearly 70,000 people smoke marijuana. It's 11.30 and exercise time at the main rehab facility for youngsters in Uruguay. This place you see is publicly funded and it treats about 300 addicts each month. Now, it's a pretty significant number considering that the country only has 3 million people. But doctors at this clinic say marijuana is the least of their concerns. It's more difficult to treat people who are addicted to crack cocaine, alcohol or prescription drugs. We would like the government to show signs that it will also take on regulating other types of drugs. It should not let these substances to be governed by the crude market laws of demand and supply. Doctors here hope the marijuana bill passes and that others will follow as they continue to help young addicts rebuild their lives. Monica Villamizar, Al Jazeera, Montevideo, Uruguay.